हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल टारगेट 100 इन मैथमेटिक्स बाय शिवेश कुमार सिंह एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट सरफेस एरिया ऑफ सिलेंडर ओके दिस इज़ वेरी इजी टॉपिक एंड ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस नाउ सरफेस एरिया मींस इन माय अनदर वीडियो आल्सो आई हैव टोल्ड यू अबाउट सरफेस मीन्स द प्लेन वॉट यू कैन सी फ्राम आउटसाइड ओके फॉर एग्जाम्पल यू कैन सी योर लैपटॉप स्क्रीन फ्राम आउटसाइड सो इट्स सरफेस एरिया can be calculated okay so whenever we talk about the surface area it means area what you can see from outside now there are two types of surface areas we are going to discuss in uh, the cylinder okay first one will be curved surface area or lateral surface area both are same curved surface area or lateral surface area so what does it mean lateral means side so side area means this what you can see from the side means top and bottom you will not consider okay like top is a circular area bottom is also a circular area you will not consider these two so just side area will be counted so what is the formula for this you see formula is circumference of the base times height circumference of the base times height we'll see it later on okay but just i am telling you how many types of areas do we have in the cylinder so first one is lateral surface area or curved surface area and what's the second type of area it is called total surface area or just surface area maybe in some questions you will see only surface area is written so surface area means total surface area or they may write total surface area also so total surface area means side area plus top area and bottom area also and you can see top is a circular area and bottom is also the same circular area yes so these two circular areas will be added with lateral or curved surface area okay let's talk about these two types of areas in detail first of all curved surface area or lateral surface area try to understand this what as i have told you just now curved surface area means circumference of the base circumference or you can say the perimeter okay circumference of the base multiply by height so what you can see here what is the base base is in the shape of a circle and if you take its radius as r then what will be the circumference its circumference will be 2 pi r times height what is the height of this uh, what is the height of this cylinder height of the cylinder is given here h so what will be the formula here formula will be 2 pi r times h this i have written in the form of statement also so what is the curved surface area or lateral surface area this is 2 pi r times h and what is 2 pi r circumference of the base okay or if it is not a cylinder or if it is any having object with the corner points then you can say perimeter of the base times height that we'll see in another video okay but just now we are talking about cylinder now let's talk about total surface area as i have told you total surface area means lateral surface area plus circular area up and circular area down and you can see what is the area of the circle area of circle is pi r square so this is for one circle so for two circles it will be 2 pi r square and just now we have discussed about the lateral surface area it was 2 pi r h so plus 2 pi r square and what simplification you can do here if you want you can write it as 2 pi r can be taken common in bracket you will get r plus h so just in the form of a sentence i have written here for you 2 pi r times r plus h but you must understand the difference between the curved surface area or lateral surface area and total surface area 
okay make sure that you are reading the questions carefully because sometimes they can say that a cylindrical box is there without top means this surface is not there so you will not consider this area yes so that depends on the question also that what information they have given to us okay and accordingly you will apply the formula okay now let's talk about some questions now you see questions will be very easy provided you understand it properly okay now for example they say find the total and curved surface area of the cylinder round to the nearest tenth my dear students again i am telling you if they don't write total if they say find the surface area so it means you will find total surface area okay now you see what is the formula for the curved surface area curved surface area formula is it is 2 pi r times r plus h and you see this is the value of r that is radius means 1.5 and this is height means 8 so just plug in the values here 2 times value of pi is 3.14 and then r means 1.5 times just only plug in the values and after that if calculator is allowed to you in the exam you can use the calculator or simply you can multiply it okay and one more thing i will tell you here if this is the multiple choice question then no need to go through all the answers or calculator and waste your time you can go with the approximation also it is always helpful for us but make sure that answers are not too close okay if it is too close you will use the calculator so how you will do it see 2 times 1.5 it is 3 3 times 3 this is 9 and here what you will get 1.5 plus 8 approximately it will be 10 okay approximately it is 10 so 9 times 10 it will be approximately 90 centimeter square like this you can approximate the value okay but again i am telling you make sure that answers are not too close to each other okay so here you can see with the help of calculator i am getting 89.49 and you can see it's very close to this answer yes so like see without the calculator also you can get the answer if it is multiple choice question and it is not too close now let's talk about <coughs> curved surface area curved surface area is 2 pi r times h so just plug in the values again so 2 3.14 times 1.5 times 8 okay and just again as the practice for approximation what you can do here you can simply put the value and you see 1.5 times 8 it will be i guess 12 and then 2 times 12 means 24 and 24 times 3 means approximately 72 will be the answer and what I am getting here I am getting here 75.36 so it's too close not too close but it's close yes so like this by the approximation also and by regrouping you can get the answer <coughs> now you can have a variety of questions in this like maybe they will say that diameter is given for example if I take radius is not 10 diameter is 20 so what you will do you will find the radius by making half of the diameter so radius is 10 height is 20 and again we have to find the total and curved surface area so just plug in the values here so this time radius is 10 and height is 20 so just put in this answer and you will get the value and same for the curved surface area also okay like this you can solve the question i am sure you have understood this topic this was very easy provided you remember the formulae and you just understand the question okay now if you think that if such videos will help you to understand mathematics then please like and subscribe my channel and share with your friends also thank you